What's up guys, Bearded Jeeper here, and today we're actually getting some work done on Project Zip Tie. So since it's gonna be such a nice day out, I decided to work a little bit on Project Zip Tie. Today, we are gonna to try to get this transfer case all set and uh, possibly installed in the Jeep. The goal is to try to get this transfer case in the Jeep. Not sure if I'm gonna actually be able to do it today. Uh, I might get pulled aside to do other things or who knows, I always seem to end up not getting to spend as much time on this Jeep as I want to. Brand new set of studs. I gotta get these installed. And then I have the Aussie Designs uh, shift linkage because the old one's just garbage. Anyone who has a Cherokee knows that they're complete garbage. So we got this one. It's nice. It's solid. This is their easy, what do they call it? Their easy fast installation version. Um, just because it comes all pre-assembled like this for you. I have to say it's really solid and it looks like it's gonna work for what I need it to. Installing this uh, transfer case is a little bit of a kind of unknown ground. I know some people have done it on the forums, but it's a JK Rubicon transfer case. I get a good deal on it. Um, the newer versions, the JKs that are um, o, or 14 and up, I think it is, had this kind of end to it, but I need the internal splines, but this, I need the uh, internal splines like that. Well, this little guy just pops off. There's just a little, little clip here. There's just a little clip here and this pops right off. You just lightly pry with a screwdriver. This end pops out and should be the 23 splines we need to get it installed. It's the same bolt pattern once I fix those horrible bent studs and uh, hopefully it should all bolt up. But I'm gonna give it a shot. It'll give me four to one crawl ratio with the transfer case. So it'll be a lot better than the stock JK or stock XJ231 or 242 cases. So I'm gonna give it a shot. If it doesn't work, I'll end up throwing it in the JK. After drawing first blood, finally got this one bent stud starting to get free. It's coming out, but slowly. All right, so after a little bit of struggling, we got all of the studs removed. This one here was probably the, the most difficult. Look at how bent that is, that's insane and uh, it still managed to come out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit, get all the gunk out from sitting in the garage, and then uh, we'll put the new studs in, and then it should be all set to put in the, in the Jeep. Uh, I might kind of put half of the transfer case shift linkage on. Um, there it is, right there. Um, I may put this end on, so it'll be easier while the thing's off of it, and then I can line up the top half and figure out how I need to adjust it afterwards, but we're making progress. I know I'm not cleaning any contacts, but sometimes I'll clean a little bit of this up. That actually worked surprisingly well to get that cleaned up. Look at that. Good as new. Even came with red Loctite on them. All hand tight, now we gotta get them tightened down. She'll be all set.
All right, just like that, we got all the new studs installed. Looks great. So it should install into the Jeep all right and uh, not give us any issues. But with the transmission sitting down like this, should make getting that uh, transfer case in here a lot easier. Everything looks good, cleaned up. Put a jack underneath the back side. Be a lot easier to bolt up down here. Holy crap. Feel like I had to bench press a water buffalo or something. These transfer cases are not light at all. All right guys, that's it. I just wanted to uh, get a little bit of work done on the Cherokee. I still gotta clean up the garage. I gotta get uh, the 40s down in my basement so they're not getting destroyed during the winter sitting in the garage. I'm really hoping I can get some more work done on it while it's staying warm. Uh, today I gotta stack some firewood and split some firewood so this is about it that I'm gonna get done today. But I'm hoping in the near future I can take uh, right here this little gap in front of my garage door. I'm gonna try to put some cement there so I can uh, have like a little barrier, a little lip. So hopefully no water's getting in there this year. I did have that seal that I installed. I know a couple people were asking how that held up. Uh, it doesn't help when the water gets above that level and I didn't clean too well before I put that down so the glue just kind of came up. It didn't hold well. Uh, so cement is gonna hold. So that's the, the plan. Uh, I gotta clean the garage up a little bit more. Started cleaning one side. This other side is quite the mess though. So once I get that all cleaned up, get that seal up, and then uh, hopefully I can get this place heated for winter too. That would be real nice. If you like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. As always guys, stay bearded, stay jeeping. I'm out.